What is up guys? This is Chaos Kicks here coming to you with a brand new sneaker pickup video and man Was this just an awesome pickup? I went to the Nike outlet Lines were crazy out the door and everything for the shoe uh, a couple outlets got it Luckily my out uh, two of my outlets actually the two closest ones got it for me uh, Only one had some big ass sizes the other one had my size so I did grab the shoe in my size I paid $180 for it, $198 after tax, and it's way cheaper than what they did come out for. And we're going to get that shoe right now. So if you've been following sneaker news recently, you obviously have probably heard rumors about a Jordan 11 hitting outlets. And that Jordan 11 is the Jordan 11 Space Jam. So clearly, these are brand new, obviously, if you got them from an outlet. Uh, these are B-grades. So, you know, not like if you look at them, What's wrong with them? I don't see anything wrong with them, to be honest. There, there's no flaws to the shoe. Shoe looks perfectly like a normal Space Jam. The only, I don't even have the box with me right now. I forgot where I put it, but the only difference is it does not come with the, the original Space Jam box with the 23 and everything on it. So that's the only difference. But the shoe itself looks just normal. So I don't know why these hit outlets, why they marked them as B grades. If it was potentially just because of the box, I highly doubt that. But there's obviously maybe some really, really, really tiny manufacturing flaw on this shoe. But with my own two eyes and with many others' own two eyes, you can't see it at all. Like, I'll give you a little close-up. Like, really, just just a quick little glance. Like, there's nothing wrong with the insole. Nothing wrong with the soles. I don't know why. I don't know why they're B-grades. So, I instantly grabbed a pair. They said you can only buy one pair, so that was the bad part. I would have probably grabbed a couple pairs uh, just to, you know, just to sell them. Even if I didn't make money off them, just so I can get, you know, whatever the reason. I just want, I would want multiple pairs. But I only got one, so that's the sad part. Paid 198 like I said. But 198 for some space chance that did major the majority of uh, the pairs did sell out. Some pairs, some stores actually didn't completely sell out, which is surprising for a Jordan 11. But considering how they mass produce everything nowadays, you know, it's not that surprising. But it is a Jordan 11, and it is one of the, you know, one of the classic 11 colorways that everybody seemed to cherish and love. But some stores did keep them, but that's besides the point. Uh, but yeah, the outlets got them. I grabbed them, my friend Nick grabbed them. Tons of other people grabbed them. As, you, as I said, the lines were crazy out the door and everything. Uh, luckily though, they were moving quick. They had uh, stations set up throughout the store, not necessarily registers, but they had like the mobile, the little keypad, so you could just check out and just sign on the little touchscreen phone thing. So that was good. So the lines were moving. It wasn't long, I was literally in line for Boom, that was like two, a minute, two minutes, because they had that many people set up because they knew that if people found out there were space chains at the outlet, people were going to come like crazy. Uh, and they also had some other decent stuff too. They had some uh, Black Cat 13s, they had the, uh, the Wolf Grade 12 Lows, uh, nothing too crazy. And then you're obviously all your your All Star 6s. Um, what else did they have? Cyber Monday 3s, you know, all those shoes that have been at outlets for a couple months now. But uh, the Black Cat 13s, I was kind of surprised to see those there. Uh, those did fairly well, not crazy well, but they weren't a bad shoe. I somewhat like those. I'm not a big 13 fan, but I somewhat like those. But uh, I grabbed, only grabbed the Space Jams. Crazy happy to get them. I thought it was definitely worth it. Definitely a steal, 198 for some Space Jams, you know. Uh, whether I sell them or keep them, because I could keep them, they are in my size. Uh, at first I was just like, nah, I'm just going to sell them. But I'm looking at them like, you know, these are decent. You know, I wasn't the biggest Space Jam fan, but I look at these now, and I'm I'm really kind of into them. So, we'll see. Sneaker Con is coming up. I'm going to get you guys a Sneaker Con video coming soon. I'm actually about to record uh, the first part of my video right now. Uh, recording of like all everything that I'm bringing and I'm bringing like over 20 pairs So I don't know how I'm gonna carry all this shit, but uh, whatever But one of the shoes I will be bringing are these space jams and like I said, I'm glad I got them All right guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this pickup I really think it was a, a great pickup in my opinion, especially coming from an outlet $180 $198 after tax. That's great price for some space jams Jordan 11 classic colorway classic shoe uh, Definitely worth it once again. Thank you guys for watching drop a like and subscribe let me know any future videos you want me to do. That sneaker con video will be coming soon within the next couple days. I'm going for two days, a Saturday and a Sunday. So I'll get that to you soon. This is Chaos Kicks. We are out.